A new chapter in the space race appears to be underway, this time between the United States, China, and Russia. In 2024, China and Russia signed an agreement to collaborate on building a 100-kilowatt nuclear power station on the moon, with a target completion date of 2035. This week, the United States fired back with its own announcement. During a press briefing, NASA's acting administrator revealed plans to construct a lunar nuclear reactor by 2035 years ahead of the China-Russia schedule. Both projects aim for a power output of around 100 kilowatts, enough to supply electricity for roughly 80 homes around the clock. The motivation? Securing the most strategically valuable region of the moon. The leading candidate is the Lunar South Pole, known for its frozen water deposits and other valuable resources. While the Outer Space Treaty prohibits national ownership of lunar territory, the first nation to set up a base could establish a de facto area of control around it. That makes timing critical and heightens the stakes. Complicating matters, the U.S. government is weighing major cuts to NASA's science programs, with proposals to reduce funding by nearly half. Yet such missions may be essential if the U.S. hopes to win this new lunar contest. In short, the race is on America versus a China-Russia partnership with the Lunar South Pole as the prize.